Hey guys, I'm way back here. I'm at the tail end of a gorgeous 1936 Packard V12 limousine, officially known as a 1407 formal sedan. Uh, yes, it has the 12 cylinder engine. Uh, I'd like to say you'll hear it run at the end of the video, but it's so quiet, I don't know if you'll hear it or not. And it does have a divider window with jump seats, beautifully restored. The car is a driver. It's been updated with 12 volt electrical. It has power steering added to it, turn signals. The owner is 83 years old and he drove this car in to Volo. Uh, go to volocars.com and that's where you can read all the information, look at pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find a price tag on every car, including a monthly finance option. There's also a buy it now button. If you see a car you like, I strongly suggest you hit the button. That just locks it in for you while you're thinking about it and talking to the salesman. That's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Look at the beauty of this car. Now, I'm not going to claim to be an expert, but this is what our showroom was filled with when I was a little kid, were Packards and Pierce Arrows and Cadillacs. So I did grow up with these. Um, polished an awful lot of Packards when I was a kid. This one here is a California car. The body is in excellent shape. A uh, gentleman that owned it uh, did paint, chrome, and upholstery while he had it. So it is beautiful. Yes, we'll start right back here. It's all metal, of course. This is a real car, not fiberglass, not a reproduction. And it's all straight. Everything looks real nice. Straight, clean metal. The trunk will open a little bit later, but it fits beautifully. I don't see any shoddy body work. I mean, this is, this is professionally restored. All nice and clean. Beautiful lines. The doors all fit wonderfully. They open and close so nice. They don't, they don't drop down at all. Very nice, solid feeling. But it's all smooth, not rusted, not damaged. I still don't see any bad body work or waves or I don't see anything wrong with the body whatsoever. A couple minor imperfections in the paint which we'll come back to, but the body is amazing. Now look at this grill. <laughs> it's up to my chest. Uh, all big steel fenders. There's probably more steel in this fender than there are in most of the cars being made these days. The dual side mounts were an option. The metal covers over the side mounts were an option. Remember, they had extra spares back then because the roads were not like they were today. Uh, from where we are at takes us an hour and 10 minutes to get to Chicago. Back in these days, that was an all-day venture. So anyway, body is excellent. We'll open the hood in a little while. Everything is real nice. Doors shut real nice. Excellent body. So it's painted, uh, oh, I forget, the Orlean Blue. It's a nice dark blue, not black, it's blue. It has some really nice thin blue pinstripe on the fenders and down the body. The welting was replaced, and the paint is smooth and glossy. It has the luggage rack, you know, this folds down, and you put a trunk, you put a trunk on here with all your extras. This is all really nice. There is a scratch down here you wouldn't notice unless you were looking for it. It is brush touched. That's where you put the gas. Yeah, the, the welting is all real nice. There's little lights. It should light up the running board. Has the padded roof. That was an option. That's all in excellent shape. Yeah, the roof's excellent. I don't see any issues with that. And the paint is looking really nice. Couple, you know, hairline crack right in the line. A little hairline crack right there. A little brush touch right on the edge of the hood right here. So other than minor imperfections you have to look for, the paint is, is gorgeous as well. Uh, these are Trip Lights. That's the name brand. Uh, common, well, not common. It was an accessory on the big classics back in the day. Look at the length of these headlights. 
turn signals. I believe those are now turn signals. They didn't have turn signals back then, but this car is wired up for them. These would have just been like a running light. So all of the chrome, yeah, this looks like new chrome on the hood. You got little vents here that do open to let the heat out. The mirror says Packard. The stem is a little pitted. The cap looks like beautiful shape. This is all really nice. Door handles are real sharp. Window frames look real nice. Yeah, the chrome's in really nice shape. Now, a V12, uh, the way to spot one, has these big, they're some sort of like counterweights. Only the V12s have them that big. The big Super 8s, actually, it's on the front bumper. They're really big. That's a V12 only. So the running boards themselves, the rubber's real nice. It's a little buckle in it right here, but the rubber's all excellent. The glass overall looks very good. Here's another brush touch right here and right here. The chrome grill is in excellent shape. The, uh, there's an electric fan inside there to keep it running cool. Bumper is beautiful. These are them big counterweights I talked about. So that's the stunning exterior. Boy, is that hood long. i got a lot more to show you that will impress you on the interior. Okay, so we've got beautiful paint, the chrome latch, not a whole lot of trunk space. It has a seventh tire and wheel. They all match. I don't know about the two in the covers, but this matches the four tires that are on the ground with a wire wheel. It's got a jack assembly, some miscellaneous uh, other stuff. But, yeah, not a lot of room for your stuff. That's why you have the trunk rack in the back. There's also a... Uh, extra brake light in the rear window. And the big white wall tires look real good too. I bet they're not too old. I met this gentleman and he, we agreed to bring the car out and he said, okay, I'll go home and get it. He drove it here. Just expected it to come in on a trailer. I think that's fantastic. So beautiful interior. He had this redone. Um, you have this uh, jump seat. It is just one jump seat. The other side, let me get this out of the way for you. The other side opens up and it's a compartment. And you have the footrests. The seat feels real nice. Oh, comfy. It's all upholstered very nicely. Headliner's all real nice. You have a little ashtray over here. You have the strap to help get yourself in and out. Uh, it has some nice lighting. I don't see it. I don't know if there's a switch or if they don't work. Uh, carpet's all real nice. But check this out right here. You don't want to talk to the driver. It's, you just roll up the window. <laughs> now, remember, they would have possibly had a chauffeur drive them around uh, with this car back then. This was a top-of-the-line car. I think I read it would be equivalent to $110,000 in today's money. Now, Packard came out with the V12. It was very desirable from 33 to I think 38 or something like that uh, to compete against the Cadillacs and the Pierce Arrows and all that stuff there. Nice looking dash. This looks original. It's a little patina, but very good. All this wood trim looks very good. The instrument panel, I'm going to say, is in excellent shape. The gauges are beautiful. Here's an original radio, which would have been extremely rare to have a radio back then. A clock. All the knobs look real nice. So, and then the door panels and seats all upholstered to match everything in back. All looks really nice. Nice carpet front and back. So that is the V12 motor we're going to look at here. It is smooth. Uh, it's only about 175 horsepower, but back then that was a big number. Um, looks like it has twin coils. You got the dual trumpet horns. These have a self-lubricating system. 
Uh, and overall, this is in very good shape. And right here, you can see it's a modern power steering that was added with this big, heavy car. And if you're using it, you will appreciate that. Pretty wild. I'm like, where's the exhaust manifolds? It's on top of the engine. This is your exhaust right here, uh, running out to the back of the car. Here's a master kill switch. Uh, there are two six volt gel batteries under the floor, making it a 12 volt system. I mean, ever, overall, everything looks very nice and proper here. Okay, everyone waits for me to hit that pole, <laughs> making sure this isn't the car to do it. This is a long car. How smooth and quiet that is. It's not even warmed up. looking out over that hood it seems like it's a mile long this is impressive that's the word I'm gonna to use to describe this Ooh, I didn't even know that Kubota was there I wouldn't want to be a bird flying into that hood ornament either all right we're gonna close this up fold up the trunk rack there we go. So yeah, what a beautiful car. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is an actual certified classic car. Classic Car Club of America determined what cars were actually classics. And I'm almost positive the big V12 Packard would be, which means you can participate in their caravans and tours. They actually have quite a few uh, activities uh, that involve a car like this that you can be a part of. Now, underneath the car is very clean and orderly. Uh, again, I was told this from California, and it all looks nice. Even the, the frame and all the metal components are smooth. Um, this car actually came with power brakes back then. It was vacuum-assisted brakes, uh, or drum at all four wheels, and the motor. It's a three-speed trans. All that looks really good. Big, heavy-duty rear end in the back, and it's got a sway bar on it. I'm going to assume someone added a sway bar. But yeah, underneath is just very clean and orderly, single exhaust, and it's as quiet as a mouse in slippers. So go to volocars.com with any questions, including how to get this delivered to your door. Uh, you might want to measure your garage, and uh, we can also finance the car. So a salesman can help at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.